ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗರಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸಾರಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಪಂಚಕಲ್ಪತ್ರೀವ್ಯಸ್ಟಾಕೃಪಸಿಂಧುಬಿಯೇವಾಕಮಲಂಶ್ರೀಗುರುನ್ವೈಷ್ಣವ
and then also picture of the lion eating a giraffe. Ah, uh -huh. and this the reality of the reality of the world, unfortunately. But we are not lions; we are humans, and we are meant to be eating fruits and vegetables, milk products, and water. Hare Krishna, if we can, and. This is our necessity. And even then, we're meant to be not just eating those things. That's just regarded as normal from the ancient, from the Vedic time, from the instruction manuals of the Lord. But we are meant to be taking prasadam. Everything we do, everything we eat, everything we give away, all should be done as, as an offering unto the Lord. So... Here we go. But another thing, which also seeing the safari pictures, by the way, reminded me was that it looks horrific. The animal, one animal, he's eating another animal. But that same animal that he's, that he's killed, then others are also coming to take from there. And I just thought, what would, what would we think if a tiger or lion, in this case, goes around killing one giraffe after another, and sitting beside the giraffe and then selling selling meat or one giraffe after another and then they made a lion society for selling this meat to the other animals what kind of uh, unanimalistic behavior would we think that is like below animalistic behavior and this is what the man animal does he doesn't just take for his own need, if, even if he's eating meat, he's taking there so that he can profit by, oh, I'll kill lots and then I'll sell them to others. Then I can do this and that. It is a very unfortunate society. Hare Krishna. However, from the unfortunate society to the fortunate society, and that is a society of the devotees of the Lord. And maybe our Jeevana Diddy would like to... Is Jeevana still with us? Yes. Oh, Jeevana, the top of your head. I have to recognize your parting. Okay, yes. So Jeevana is still with us. And perhaps you'd like to bring us to the bright side with some further comment, etc. And just get me, as they say in America, up to speed... Did you discuss in the group, the back-to-back-to-basics -back -to -basics on Sunday, or our Sunday, did you, the last back-to-back-to-basics, -to -back -to did you discuss this audio? Well, you know, I don't, I don't call in on, on that one, because that's our Saturday night here, and we have a video night. And, uh, yes. So I usually miss that one. Yes, yes. So yeah. somebody can say, Leela Moy Prabhu, you were probably hosting. Leela Moy Prabhu. Uh, Donat Kurdev, uh, actually not. We, we didn't discuss about those, this video. We are having like a discussion with Paramananda Prabhu, like uh, various subjects. Okay. <laughs> nice. And that, and there's the question that Narutam Nitai Prabhu did in the end of our meeting. That's a really interesting question. Maybe it could be a topic for today also. It is in the chat. Check the it's chat. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, in the chat, Dana is sending Hare Krishna family. Yes, Dana. And from the family, Hare Krishna. Indeed. And what was the audio link? Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, it's a Facebook page. Jeevana, maybe you can pop it back into. The, do you have it handy? Uh, which one? The audio that you linked to. Um, oh, this the one that we that I I wrote down. <laughs> it's old fashioned 80, style. Eighty two oh three oh three. 820303. Right, 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 right. Actually, and I learned that trick 
of writing things down from Kumkum and Sri Lanka from one of their classes on the Back to Back to Base Back to Back to Basics when they were in Thailand. And they were saying how it's very valuable to write things down. Sometimes you can digest things better and remember things better. So I thought that was very cool. And I did it on this one. So I don't actually have I don't actually have that link. Okay. Available. I tell you what I we'll do. We'll, I'll have we'll to search it a little bit. Okay, we'll continue and I'll okay. put it on to in the meantime, as we're going mm -hmm. along, I'll put it on to a Google Drive. And then I'll put a link in the box and then from there everyone will be able to download it. Okay. And I, I, meanwhile, I'll also check on YouTube because I think that's what we usually do. We go to YouTube because that's where Chinmoy Day Prabhu posts all of the videos that he's done with the transcriptions on them. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll, yes, we'll make that uh, available and we'll put the link in the box. And Narottam Nittai, he's sending his dandavats. Oh, and something disappeared, jumped. And then the question by Narottam Nittai, um, Prabhu, how does one take care of oneself and perform devotional service at the same time. <laughs> and Seva Rupa, please give me shelter. SESMAT.com. <laughs> okay, that's a good answer, Seva Rupa, but it's very mystic and a bit beyond me at this time of the day to understand. And then Rupa Nuga, oh, he put also, please give me shelter. SESMAT.com. <laughs> Save a Rupa, 122, Heart Within and God Hell Overhead, Shira Shira Maharaj, YouTube. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, there's no need for me to put it up onto, onto uh, <laughs> the thing. If you are able to download from YouTube, Leela Moy Prabhu was very kind and he downloaded it for me. Therefore, oh. I had it so I could hear while traveling. Govinda, Govinda. So there is the link. It's a, it's a YouTube link. And if you haven't heard it, it's one of these um, audios, or this is video, in fact, I think, but you, obviously you can listen to it as audio. It's one of these talks of Srila Guru Maharaj that has different segments to it. And so many, like of our fa famous or not famous, I don't know, like air posters, posters that we want to put everywhere. Um, and it is a, it's an audio which I think I made a, a couple of bookmarks just to remind me to go back to them. And if you like, what we can do is to play a little bit of that. But first, Narottam Nittai Prabhu's question. And I'm a little bit lost, a bit, but please give me shelter. Anyway, maybe somebody will give a purport on that wonderful expression. Okay. Question by Narottam Nittai. How does one take care of oneself and perform devotional service at the same time? Well, if we perform actual devotional service, then that is really taking care of oneself. But I understand your point. How do we get food in our belly, a roof over our head, clothes on our back, and do the, our spiritual side of things? But if we actually do everything for Krishna, then we will find that what is our necessity, it will come to us somehow. And we see this in the example, I mean, extreme example, of such as a Raghunath Das Goswami, who had everything, but who simply then re relied totally on the Lord, and he didn't ask anything from the Lord as such. Also, Madhavendra Puri. Madhavendra Puri never asked anything from the Lord. He just engaged himself fully in the Lord's service. And then Rupa and Sanatan, both very wealthy, very prominent persons in the government, the finance minister and the prime minister, the two most important persons in a government. And they had so much wealth and position but they didn't keep a, a, they didn't leave that government and then keep a side business running of you know selling oh, well I won't give any example uh, selling ice cream will go there 
or selling, no, no, better not go there, some devotees sell ice cream. Uh, anyway, he didn't have a side business, didn't give up all his prestige and everything, and then have a side business just so he'd have some, you know, food coming in. So for the 100% surrendered devotees, then they're seeing that the, the world, the Lord is managing the world, and then they are just surrendering to Krishna. But Gurudev, Srila Govinda Marsh, and Guru Marsh, Srila Srila Marsh, they're always very practical for us in the 20, well, then it was the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century. And they saw and they encouraged that the devotees be practical in their devotional life. So that they see that their form of income is also used devotionally, that their home will be devotional home and that their children, their family, everybody will be devotional. And if not in family life, then join the temple. This is really that without family life, then to be in the temple is the best place to be. Otherwise, being alone in the world, what is that benefit? It is the, the Grihastha life is to, uh, to bring up good children in the line of Krishna consciousness. But where will you join the temple? Well, perhaps you need to make a temple. As best as your understanding is of what Guru <laughs> and Guru Maharaj gave, then those who don't want to go into family life should perhaps be considering seriously well, we should make a, a place where devotees can come and where we'll get a, a clean environment as given by Gurudev and Guru Maharaj. But otherwise, for the maintenance of, of the body, then we'd have some honest form of income and see everything in the line of being conscious of Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. And I think actually, maybe it was the last back to back to basics, but there was a similar kind of a question about those in household life. How do I see getting my kids to school, clothing the kids, cooking for the for the kids, etc.? How do we do all this you know, in harmony with Krishna consciousness? And the answer, the prominent answer that came was. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur is our example and has given us the mood for maintaining our house and household. And that example is given very beautifully in several of the songs of Sharanagati, the, the short book of instruction, of prayer, of Sharanagati. What is surrender? How to be surrendered to the Lord in every circumstance? 50 uh, songs, you can sing the whole book. How wonderful to have a book that we can sing and not just a hairy fairy book of somebody's made up poetry about the sky is blue, the grass is green, the birds are singing and it's all very sweet. But it's a substantial book of, of devotional life, of the nourishment of the heart. And we can sing the whole book. And we do sing the whole book. And as we're singing, we can also, most importantly, is to uh, understand the message that he's giving. So that answer for those who are in family life and how to look after the family is given. And that answer for everybody is given within those songs, those kirtans composed by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So whether that fully answers your question. But Gurudev was very practical. He was very practical. And we see, by the way, in the life of the devotees, and we just we have some devotees who live lived near here, um, but now um, the end of their life is coming, not that they're about to leave the world, but their family's already grown up and uh, wife dis passed away and one thing and another. And we see that the devotees in such a position, they want to render service. They want to continue doing service. And so there are communities of devotees and uh, who have 
like farm and have programs running and they live in some form of a community. And so he here in Italy, I've come here and I said, oh, where's such and such? Oh, he's moved to one of the uh, ISKCON communities where they do farming and they do good things and where most importantly, they have association with each other. And association is, as we know, very, very important for us all. So such communities do exist. And in America, there is Alachua. I may have got the pronunciation wrong. But uh, there we hear it's one of the biggest communities in the world of, of uh, devotees. Well, probably we'll say outside India because Mayapur now has become quite a big community of essentially devotees and you know, with its everything that goes along with having many people. You know, school, which means that, you know, those who run the schools, this, that, and the other, but largely made up of devotees doing that. So to be with devotees, when we, all the time, but, you know, in any position of life, we should try to be with the devotees. But when we find ourselves either single at a young age, or, you know, again single as our families grow up and, uh, our family members pass away from the world, we should try to stay within the communities of the, of the Vaishnavas, of the devotees. So Narottam Nithai Prabhu's question, a little bit like this, be practical, I think will be Gurudev's answer to that. And Priya Sundari saying, Prashad! <laughs> Prashad. Is this the answer that how to take care of oneself and perform devotional service at the same time? Make, yeah, make it clear to yourself that your body is not your body. Oh dear. Oh, it's not my body. That this is for Krishna's service. So we shall try to maintain it for Krishna's service. And how do we maintain it? By Krishna's grace. And prashad means grace. Krishna's grace. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Dandavatya Maharaj. So say, I was trying to share the link from our last meeting, heart within and God overhead, but instead shared the second link from the discussion. From our discussion, please give me shelter. Okay, I'm still a little lost. Just a yes or no answer. Is the link you gave the audio that um, the Jeevan Adiri was referring to? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay, perfect. That's all we need. Jason, good to see you join us. Welcome. We kind of greeted devotees earlier on. And Nadia Sundari, good to see you with us too. We are here in Vila Govinda. And I passed on your message word for word because I wrote it down. And <laughs> immediately Moninda Mohan said, why not? <laughs> Oh, why? Anyway, from anyway, I won't repeat your message that you said because it's private message. But you know your message, so anyway, it was a very affectionate. That why will we not believe you? Anyway, there we are. Very sweet, and to all of the devotees, yes. Hare Krishna, Chintamani, Priyanana Devirasi, Radha Sundari. Lin, Lin joined us with, the, with our prayers, with her hands. And Advitya, Kiri, oh yes. By the way, Advitya and Leela Moy Prabhu, they were heroes of an adventurous bike, bicycle ride <laughs> just before. We got a lot of exercise just before coming on to non-exercise two days of flights to come here. So anyway, well done. And I also told the Italian devotees about our adventure. And so gave you both full credits. Well done. Hare Krishna. 
well, should I play I'll, a bookmark? And because we can't remember everything, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what's going to be the bookmark, but I'll play you at least one of my bookmarks from the audio that Jeevana gave. Because we did ask, oh, let us all do some homework. We'll listen to this audio, then we can we can discuss some points on it. But now I, you know, I more or less understand. Maybe we should listen to the audio together so we all know something, you know, have caught part of it. So this is part of it. And the bookmark, what does it say? Oh, search for Sri Krishna. <laughs> Always a good bookmark to have is uh, Shri Krishna. So uh, I'll play a short section, and I do hope it's audible for you. And Jeevana probably has got this transcribed, so you'll you'll soon pick up where we are uh, in your in where you've been writing it down, Jeevana. But it's very fresh, very beautiful. It's Srila Guru Maharaj. Actually, everything is fresh and beautiful, but. Here we are. It's a bookmark, and I look forward to hearing it again, too. So I'm going to be all ears to listen. And somehow, maybe Jeevan can give me a thumbs up or medium or down for the audio. Is it audio quality is okay? I'm just playing it from the phone, you know, to the loudspeaker. Прошло почти 10 минут. Если ты еще не почистила зубы, не делай, но я не буду прошло. Radha Sundari Diri, we don't know Hindi, so you're safe. But <laughs> you turned off the mic, that's good. <laughs> okay, Jai Shil Guru Maharaj, Shil Vakti Rokok Shridha, Dev Goswami Maharaj, Ki Jai. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not playing through the loudspeaker. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Garadha Shri Vata Adi Gaura Bhakti Vrinda. Okay. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let us give attention. Jai Shila Guru Maharaj. and that is Krishna Nishamba. <clears throat> All current of inquisitiveness should come into one flow. And that is Krishna Nusandan, which means the search for Sri Krishna. All inquisitiveness should come into one flow. That is Krishna Nusandha. The quest is search for Krishna. Search for Krishna. That is only one campaign. But it has all the Search for Krishna. The sincerity in this heart is the best quality to Nothing else. The search for Sri Krishna and sincerity in that search is the best qualification, nothing else. Hare Krishna. And by the way, welcome Ashapuna. We also saw you arrive. And Dayal Nitai Prabhu is sending his obeisances with Priya Sundari. And Dayal Nitai Prabhu looking forward to hearing your adventures too, presently. Hare Krishna, but now we keep listening to Guru Maharaj. Must be true to our own self, our own search, whether I am after 
Ein primäres Mann, das nahe kriegt man. Wenn man das fast klar liegt, dann der kann ich in die Anstalt durchschauen. Im Mond. Gut, ich wohne, gut, ich wohne, gut, ich wohne, gut, ich wohne, gut, Could you all understand? Not. Was it clear, Jivana? Was it clear? Yeah. Well, of course, it's the loudspeaker of the telephone is one thing, but I mean, sorry, yeah, loudspeaker of the phone going into the computer. Um, so, okay. Just run it back a little bit. We must be true to our own self. Our own self, whether I am after us. Something else, We must be true to our own self. Our own self, whether I am after something which is uh, non Krishna or Krishna. I mean, I got every word, but the memory didn't catch it. I'm going to play that short section again. Must be true to our own self, our own such, whether. I am after us. Something else, a non Krishna or Krishna. We must ask, to ask clearly, and according to the answer, we shall know. We must ask to us, in other words, we must ask to ourselves clearly, and according to that, we must move. So we must have this self, I mean, Check, I'm really after Krishna. And according to the answer, we shall know. That life is where is my he's made a quotation where is my lord of heart who can satisfy the quench of and who can quench the task of my inner most heart? Who can quench the thirst of my innermost heart? Who can satisfy the quench of and who can who can quench the task of my inner most heart? and who can supply the vitality uh, which is uh, losing uh, fighting with the circumstances uh, who can supply the vitality which is fighting the circumstances no other conception of Godhead, but the sustainer of life, supplier of vitality. Who can strengthen my heart, my existence? <coughs> Not in any other form. Divine love dealer, 
Dari Is, uh, but so then I, I don't like to keep stopping because it's very good to hear directly. But if you can't understand, then it makes it, you know, little difficult just to play continuously. But then Srila Guru Maharaj is saying, Prananath, the Lord of my heart and Brajendran, uh, uh, sorry, the Lord of my very life, Prananath, and then saying Brajendra Nandan. This form of Krishna, no other form of the Lord, but this form of Krishna in Braja, there, this Krishna, he will give everything. So he is the Lord of our, of our heart and this is the destination of our journey. And I would like to just keep playing, to keep listening. But, you know, we need to be a little bit practical in the sense of, we all have the opportunity to hear Guru Maharaj at home because here we are. We all have the opportunity to hear Srila Gurudev at home. But if we can hear this, and if this has got the, if this has the subtitles, then as long as they're correct, then the subtitles on the video will be very helpful for watching the video if you're not familiar with Srila Guru Maharaj. And even if you are familiar, we know that it can sometimes for everybody can be tricky to hear some of the words and some of the expressions. And so um, more and more the subtitles are close and close and closer. And so they generally are helpful, but still use your ears um, carefully to try to hear, not just to, not just to read, but to hear so that you capture the the mood of Guru Maharaj and understand him. Hare Krishna. Anyway, now we have to come back down to earth after hearing Guru Maharaj. And it's just Guru Maharaj's expression and everything that he is giving us Krishna consciousness, whether we know the language or not. And indeed, when Guru Maharaj was in South India, he was challenge when he's trying to uh, get some funding for the Madras temple. He was challenged. Oh, why are you preaching here? You don't know the local language, etc., etc. And then Guru Maharaj answered very alert. He's very alert to understand everything. And he answered that if a man is drowning in the lake, and I see he's drowning, do I first go to learn the local language and then raise the alarm and give some indication? No, I will go there to rescue that person. And so this is the urgency of the message of Mahaprabhu. This is the urgency that we need to catch something to get the direction, how to come to the shore, how to get out of the, the dangers of the crocodiles and all these other things which are there in the waters, not only in Africa, but they are in the waters of the world. The crocodiles are coming to catch us at every step. So we are in dangerous water or, or crocodiles. And in Australia, sharks, right? They, sharks have an annual uh, diet, <laughs> however many surfers they, they eat each year. But still people go searching, a surfing thing. Oh, very good pastime. Yes, we'll sacrifice a few surfers every year, but we'll have fun. Anyway, the, we, are, we need to come to the shore. The urgency is that the crocodiles and the, the sharks, they're all around and we are in danger. And here we are now. We need to uh, spread that news and that news is being spread by Guru Maharaj. That news is being spread independent of language. And so it is always good, even if we can't capture the, the language, to spend some time and if every day or not, every day is very good, but some time every week to spend at least some time to hear Guru Dev and Guru Maharaj as well as the reading of their books, which are carefully heard, checked by different devotees and put down into black and white as carefully as possible. So anyhow, I don't like to keep stopping and starting. And But when we're together, sometimes maybe a little helpful to catch that message. But how 
sweet, Shila, sweetly, or oh, sweet, proper English, I forgot, Srila Guru Maharaj is said, presenting to us what is the very life of our life. And the life of our life is that sweet, loving Lord, the current of the heart and all these things. It is this for which we have come to Krishna consciousness. And with this, the other things of the world will seem secondary, very secondary. But we will try to make our absolute focus that of Krishna, Krishna consciousness. Like the athletes who really are focused on you know, winning the, the gold medal at the Olympics or something. They'll do everything, all their eating, sleeping and everything is done with this in mind. Their daily activities and how much they surrender, how much responsible they are, faithful to their goal. So we need to be faithful to our goal. Krishna consciousness and nothing else. And look at ourselves sincerely. So this theme of sincerity again comes up. Hare Krishna, Govinda, Govinda. And I have a very quiet Vaishnava sitting beside me here. Jai Goranga Prabhu, all the way from Thailand. <laughs> he got here first. <laughs> Jai Goranga Prabhu, would you like to express something? Did you come with something in your pocket or did you come to here? I didn't know actually. I brought something with me. He's brought something. Okay, so come closer to the microphone so everyone can hear. Okay, Jai Gorangabu has brought something to share. Um, so, something we've, we've been reflecting on the past week, um, when trying trying to learn the English to Upanishamrita, uh -huh. um, which Maharaj has very suggested very and very much emphasized is very helpful. And also, Lila Moi Prabhu in Thailand, I won't forget going on that walk and like, right. <laughs> six senses to control, six favorable things to devotion. So that, that definitely helped. But, um, it's it's been interesting to like reflect on that and and like you know Shuddha Linda Maharaj is saying that my religion is to find fault with myself and to to adjust myself and so it, using that the that that Upadesha Amrita that um those things that Rupa Goswami is given um to to see, like, what, what do I need to adjust? What do I need to adjust within myself? What senses do I need to work on controlling? What, you know, where, where, where am I? What unfavorable things to my devotional life are, like, are, are there? What favorable things? What do I need to work on? So it's, it's been it's been an interesting interesting thing to, to learn. Yeah. Well, you're in good company because everybody here knows those six senses to control. If we ask any of them now, they'll all immediately be able to tell you them in the correct order. They know all the six items which will destroy our devotional service. Everyone's very happy to say, Nashingadev, he destroys all the obstacles. That same word that's used in there is used in destroys devotional service. So we're very happy to hear the word destroy when it's in terms of obstacles but when we hear about destroying our devotional service then we should be very cautious and think okay so what's going to destroy my devotional service so those six items and they all know the six qualities which will ensure the success of my devotional service of our devotional service so you're in good company good. you see they're all nodding they all know the answers and the six forms of association the three different ways of giving honor to the Vaishnavas, not to see, then not to see any fault in the Vaishnavas, then the miracle of chanting the holy name, 
and then the essence of all advice. And then coming to, if you do all that, look at the wonderful life, the grades of the devotees, the devotional places, and the ultimate out of Shimati, Radharani and Krishna, and their most favorable places. So yes, we are very happy to hear Upadesh Amritam keeps coming to the surface. Hare Krishna and Upadesh Amritam and Prahlad Maharaj's teachings. That was the very core of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur's preaching and instructions for preaching at Radha Kund when they were on the Parakram, Braja Mandal Parakram. There is a big message there for us all. Not to try to fly in the sky when we have lead shoes on. Not a good idea. Kum Kum Didi, please, you're always with a list of things to share, I know. Oh, my Dhanva, to all of the Vaishnavas here, your kind blessings of sustaining us. And uh, I I did bring something in my pocket from uh, Sri Sri Prabhupada Jivanamrita, which for me is quite absurd, but at least I can quote it. It's about Atmani Vedana. Um, and then I also had one thought for uh, Naratam Nitai Prabhu. But first, let me uh, mention this very short from here in the chapter on full self-surrender. And uh, Srila Guru Maharaj is, is referring to self-dedication as self-sacrifice and then quoting revered votary. And I have to admit, I do not know who that refers to when he says revered votary. But at any rate, what he's quoting as self-dedication, as self-sacrifice of one who out of love for Krishna has died to live exclusively for the Lord's service, who is devoid of attachment for any other objective and who is free from egotism, his godly mentality or absence of pursuit for personal pleasure in quest of the Lord's pleasure is known as Atmani Vedana, full self-sacrifice. And then Srila Guru Maharaj explains next, faith in the infinite capacity of the Lord is to be found within such dedication. Due to his unlimited capacity, nothing whatsoever is unattainable for the Supreme Lord. Thus, to be devoid of self-endeavor by completely depending upon him is to factually execute the purpose of the Lord. This is from Sri Vyasadeva. So it's very um, encouraging to think how, how these go together. We, we're building our faith uh, and faith in the infinite capacity of the Lord. At the same time, we're trying to understand how to completely give ourselves. So it's not a matter of um, stoicism, but we're trying to give everything because we're our, our faith is growing more and more. So by our constant hearing from the devotees and from the beautiful scriptures about who the Lord is, about his kindness and his charm and his beauty, then naturally it follows that we want to be more and more uh, surrendered. Think less and less of ourself. And that actually is sort of the link to the thought that I had when I heard uh, Prabhu's question, which is so good, it's very important. The only thing I can add is that our capacity to feel that our needs are going to be taken care of the same time we're trying to just serve the Lord and and we revere like Maharaj was saying she um, uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami um, Raghunath Das Goswami um, 
at the same time that seems out of our reach, but it seems like it's a gradual progression for us. So when we first come, the first time we meet the devotees by the grand arrangement of our gurus, the probably one of the very first things we'll do is, is honor prasadam, and we won't even be knowing that. We might even be thinking that we're doing just for us. We're taking care of our need. We're hungry, and here's something wonderful and delicious, and it's being offered to us with so much affection, and so we just accept that. And then as we go, as we progress, then so many other ways of honoring prasadam will come to us. We might even end up getting the service of cooking for the the deity and the Vaishnavas. And so then when we're doing that, it, we don't wonder, well, what about my own hunger? Am I going to be hungry? And so many other things that consume us, uh, like my clothing, my shelter, my necessity to put gas in my car, all of these things which seem so difficult become uh, part of doing our service. Of course, I have to put gas in my car to go to the temple to do my service. So we stop questioning how will I be able to get gas to go in the car. So gradually it all becomes um, that whatever we're doing, trying to approach service we're getting the confidence that our own needs are going to be completely taken care of without even having to think about them. But this is just gradual. It starts from knowing nothing to to uh, hearing all the time about the great Vaishnavas who are, who are always thinking like that. They don't even have to think, where will my meal, where will I lie down to sleep? Where? So... I can see that he is on this path so nicely, Naratam Nitai Prabhu, and he will always be increasing like that. Right. And when we think of Upadesh Amritam, which we've been reminded about today too, then what comes in easily, we take this as the Lord's grace, but not to over-endeavor for mundane things which are not easy, which don't come easily. So everybody will find that balance in their life. That is also something. But that, as we come in connection with the devotees, we find that the devotees, they rather overfeed their guests rather than underfeed them. <laughs> so we may have the other challenge of how to politely accept less than, than what they are very generously uh, distributing as prasadam. Jai Kum Kum Didi. And I believe we have Jai Defu with us. I think I saw him just for a moment or two there, quietly in the background. So Jai Defu, very good to see you with us. Jaya, Jaya Jaya Dev. How can I help? How can I serve? What... Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, and share whatever good things of Krishna consciousness you know with others. This is really uh, valuable service. So we, we go to sleep um, listening to Chaitanya Bhagavat. And I think it's a Chaitanya Bhagavat that you've also listened to. And um, so what I hear a lot is... Um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was telling someone, I can't remember who, but he was saying, just chant the name of Krishna and there are no rules. Chant the name of Krishna and there are no rules. Bottom line, that's it. Chant the names of Krishna, no rules. And um, also, what else were we, do you remember any of what we were waking up to? Every night we're either, every night we're either listening to um, Revealed Truth or Chaitanya Bhagavat, right? Do you want to? He has, he called on you. We, I already saw Maharaj a bunch this year. It's your okay, turn. Fine. So anyways, <laughs> um, I'm a universalist. And what I've come to understand is no matter what you're doing in every single moment, chant the name of Krishna. 
and um, um, there are no hard and fast rules. There are rules for people who want to progress uh, more deeply, but at the same time, like, just please, just whatever you're doing, just remember Krishna, um, chant Krishna's name. And I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I've got. It's like, I'm sorry. That sounds very good to me. And this also is the instruction of Mahaprabhu. Nam nam akari bahuda nija sava shaktis tatrapita niyamitaha smarane nakalaha itadrishi tabakripa bhagavan mama pi dudarvam idrisham ihajani nan nuragaha. And you are listening to Chaitanya Bhagavat. And Chaitanya Bhagavat is giving you Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life and instruction. But we, we have our immediate guides who are giving us our guidance of how to apply the instructions of the Lord. And so we see in the scripture how Mahaprabhu is so happy when he hears that somebody who is inimical has actually chanted the name of Krishna or Rama. I say, oh, they have chanted Krishna's name. I'm very happy. So this, this is the general call that it, don't wait till you're a saint. You chant Krishna name now. This, you put it in your heart. You chant Krishna name. But then, step by step, that is also, like you're saying, if we're becoming more serious, then we start to look and see, okay, so what are the, what are the favorable things to do and what are the unfavorable things to do? And then that brings us into a finer and finer uh, conception, but a finer and finer also adjustment in the in our behavior and our outlook on the world so it is not that uh, you know the general okay you can do anything and everything yes come and live you know in the association of devotees it doesn't matter what you do within the temple no the the temple has come to give for those who are serious the guidance of what is the, the practical favorable and the practical unfavorable way to lead one's life so from the general call comes better and better and better and of course there's the better and better of the mundane world but that has its uh, kind of dividing line where it becomes better and better in the upper world and this actually is you know the the final message or the message of the vedas of bhagavatam of mahaprabhu who pointed this out just come back to cultivate Krishna consciousness with sincerity, as we heard from Srila Guru Maharaj today. In fact, near the beginning, sincer sincerity is the main thing. I think Guru Maharaj said we'd have to look at, over the shoulder at Jivana's transcription. But he did say more, something like that. And so with that holy name, with the association, with sincerity, all of these things coming together, will bring our lucky stars into a good good uh, constellation no what is what it they say in astrology when you've got all the all the the stars in a favorable situation something like that yes and please do share the holy name give faith and share give faith to others and say now you chant, it's free. Add it to whatever else you do. Yes, Naratam, thanks for uh, mentioning about Jason. And we're very happy to have Jason with us. And may you be nourished by the substantial talks of our... Uh, talks means guidance of our masters. And guidance means we should allow ourselves to be guided when we've come across good guidance. We need to put it into practice. Hare Krishna. Priyanana makes a point. I liked your words, Maharaj, that living in the temple is a privilege. Not to discourage, but to remind ourselves. Yes, it's a privilege to live in a temple. Vaikanas Maharaj is here. Okay, Vaikanas Maharaj. Oh, here in, okay, Maharaj, please excuse, you're in Arjuna's video, <laughs> Arjuna's a, a picture. 
Okay, Prabhu, you look like you're in Philippines, but I think you're in India. Maharashtra. I... Yeah. Yes, uh, my dandabat pronouns to everyone. I'm still here in India. I'm on my last day. And this afternoon, I would be leaving. I'm now here in Mayapur. And uh, this afternoon, I would be leaving for uh, Kolkata, then uh, to New Delhi Airport and go back to the Philippines via Mumbai, Hong Kong. Okay, well, uh, Maharaj. Yeah. Well, wonderful to see you today. And I'm happy that pointed out that you're with us, Maharaj. Our obeisances to you. You've had a good long time in India. Yes, I, I'm, I'm very happy by your grace, by the kindness of everyone who I met and have not met and am prayed. Oh, my life, uh, uh, I do not know where to start. You know, what, where do I begin? It is a love story. I, I, I don't think my one mouth is not enough to express, to, to picture what I had experienced. But what is uh, very important is that uh, humility, tolerance, and ready to offer others uh, respect. That is most important thing in our lives. Love must prevail. Love. Love knows no rules, knows no boundary. It embraces everyone. And I'm happy. Uh, it is my good fortune. Arjuna uh, was watching you. And I didn't, I thought it's not, it's a, it's a recorded version. So when I look, it's live. He it says, it's live. So I wanted to hear from you. I miss you, Maharaj. I did, I've been uh, following you since in your, in, in your, in Chiang Mai and then everyone else. How I wish I could embrace you once again. When will the Lord give me this opportunity? Your warm embrace. I was telling you. I was telling them that your footprints had set in the Philippines and our place has become a pilgrimage. Maharaj, give me the opportunity that I could see uh, your lotus feet, please. Uh, well, Ma Maharaj, as you know, and everyone knows, I don't have lotus feet. I'm still wearing those lead shoes we were talking about just now. <laughs> Whatever. However, <laughs> however <laughs> We went to Phil I went to Philippines by Shilu Gurudev's direct instruction to go there that time when we went there to meet with you all. And here we are now, we're so many years later, but we must remember that our family and our fortune is all coming from Guru Maharaj, from Gurudev to this world. Yeah. And there is our shelter, there will always be the shelter. And that is the place to put our heads and may birds of a feather flock together and we'll happily be in each other's association. Hare Krishna. I Where are you staying very... there in Mayapur? You, you're in a very uh, rustic in... bamboo and straw hut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this, Adriana? Uh, it's a friend's uh, place. Uh, yeah. Uh, we are here free. <laughs> okay, Arjuna's Bhajan Kutir. Okay, we yes, got it. Yes. And then you, the other day, we were able to go to uh, Jalmandir. I was over, uh, a, able to offer my respects to the Samadhi Mandir of Shri Guru Maharaj, Shri Guru Maharaj, as well as the deities. And then uh, I saw Gopal Prabhu, Nitai Gopal Prabhu, okay. Nitya Gopal Prabhu, and mm -hmm. uh, I have been to uh, Chitanyamat. Shibasangan, uh, oh, Yoga Pit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met a lot of the devotees there. And I keep on thinking about you all. And uh, I'm, I'm very uh, thankful also to Goswami Maharaj when he gave the magic word. Magic word, he says, yes, visit Vrindavan. He knows that for 40 years I have not been to Vrindavan. And, and believe me, Maharaj, so many wonderful, should I say, miracles. That's happened in my life. And I just found myself a cheater. You know why? Krishna. <laughs> I'm a it's... cheater because uh, because uh, everyone when they say, how are you, Maharaj? I said, I'm all right, but actually I'm surviving. No, there are times I couldn't breathe. There are times I couldn't walk. 
there are times that I really feel sick. I feel like dying. But whenever they ask me, oh, let's go for a walk. We'll go to this temple, this, this, this. I said, yes, I'll go with you. So I said, I'm all right. <laughs> but actually, I'm not all right. <laughs> then uh, when we were in Govardhan Parikrama, Arjuna was with me. And uh, I joined them on the Parikrama, at first by, by foot. Then uh, for a while, uh, when I, I uh, felt this uh, chest pain again, uh, Arjuna called a rickshaw, and uh, I made a shortcut. So I'm a tutor. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> so I made a shortcut, and uh, I was over over them, yes. you know, and, and I'm happy. So um, Maharaj, uh, by your good wishes, by your blessings, uh, my connection to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga, I'm happy that... Uh, Though I'm late in bloom, <laughs> should I say at this age, no, I, I came and I'm happy. Please, uh, I need all your blessings that I may be successful in my new life as a preacher of Krishna consciousness. I would like to bring all the good messages, the good things that happens to me back to the Philippines and tell them that this is real. This is true. The Krishna consciousness is about love. Love and care and affection for each and every one of us. And this is what we are looking for. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Dandabad. Hare Krishna. And now we very much understand. You are representing our masters. And if we listen to the audio with the link today that, that recommended by Jivana, that Jivana pointed out to us, we will also come to this same mood and feeling. And sometimes we think there's only one lecture we need, only one thing we need. And for now, this is our one thing that we need. So do encourage you all to listen. And I think to be continued about that lecture. And uh, okay, Jeevana, next time she will be on the, uh, she'll be live with the devotees on the video <laughs> night. But one week from today, let us continue and let us put this on our on our little schedule to become familiar with that talk and Jeevana will share some more from that talk with us too by the transcription form. I think that may be better than hearing when we're together. So Maharaj, lots of good souls here to give you their Vaishnava good wishes. And I think if all of the, the devotees give their Vaishnava good wishes, I'm sure Gurudev and Guru Maharaj will give their blessing from above. And some of these souls may be able to give blessings too. We don't know who is who in our company. So please do share blessings. Okay. Oh, dear I, Maharaj, Maharaj uh, are you in Thailand or are you in Italy? Just arrived in Italy yesterday evening. Okay. Um, yes, I thought you're still in Thailand. I'm thinking also of going to Thailand, not catch you there. <laughs> but uh, you're too very slippery. <laughs> not very. <laughs> no, not so slippery. I'm not traveling so much these days. Okay, no, dear just... devotees, I do need to tra travel minimally just now when we've got the programs running on. We are in Italy and very happily with the devotees here, very happily with all of you there, and very happily with all the devotees in Thailand, but missing being able to be actually there. But we are missing being wherever we are physically with the devotees, as it were. Yes, to our team there, and Arjuna and the team there in Mayapur, well done to you all. Hare Krishna. Okay, dear devotees, we need to keep moving. And Ananda Sundari Didi has been with us from the very beginning. She's been very quiet. And to each of you, one by one by one, our obeisances, our appreciation. And let us continue our devotional lives, remembering the good advices of our masters as shared by the devotees today. Jai Shila Guru Dev, Shila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Shila Guru Maharaj, Shila Bhakti Rakhok Shri Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Shila Prabhupada, Shila AC Bhakti Varanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai Bhagavan Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ki Jai. Shri Rupanuga Guru Bhaga Ki Jai. All the present day, Shri Chaitanya Saraswati Acharya Vrinda Ki Jai.
Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai, Nitai Gaur Pemanandi, Hari Hari Bo. Ban Chakar Rubia Chakri Pasindubia Evacha, Patitanam Pavanavio, Vaishnavavio Namo Namaha. I can't, I can't turn off his microphone when he's sitting beside me. <laughs> okay, all dear ones, one by one by one, special affection, but special uh, obeisances, appreciation, and all encouragement for a successful Seva week till we meet again soon. Hare Krishna. Amra Ashchi. Govinda Govinda. Thank you, Lila Mari Parma. Haribo! Jai! Haribo! Haribo! Jai! See you next time. It's good to see you. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna!